now or later Helen here along with Lucky and welcome to a belated something Sunday because yeah I just had a terrible night so yeah to have it as early as usual um, would be a bit suicidal on my end I think and no well, no fun at all for anyone watching but so yeah I'm, I'm thinking about just pushing it back to around this time every time because yeah it's a su it's a Sunday it, I, oh, I'm not going to get be up soon enough it's not going to be healthy for me to keep you know, going up early even though it is just 11 a.m. Uh, better not to force it early no matter how uh, yeah, it ends up but yeah, yeah. It, it is still quite early, especially on a Sunday. Yeah, they say at 2 p.m. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> yeah, welcome to Something Sunday, where I try up uh, slash showcase uh, up to four games. And well, we're going through this alphabetically at the moment. Uh, was that robot working or for something? I okay. don't think so. Anyways, this is the first game for today, Sanctum 2, and if you look to the right, yeah, Deep Rock Galactic coming 2018, sign up for Alpha here, yeah, this, uh, this, well, it's not extremely old, but it's still, like, uh, almost five years old now, uh, it's three years old, still, it hasn't been updated in a bit, uh, yeah, I have played this game before, as, well, it'll show here since I've done some of these things already. Basically, this game is a, well, a first-person tower defense game. And, yeah, let's go here. Okay. And I think I just accidentally skipped the story. Let's correct that. Because, yeah, this game does have some story to it. Oh, that's this good. time I'll just uh, cut myself out early. <laughs> okay, not much story apparently to end with that. I thought it at least would have had boys acting, but apparently not. Let's have a look. It's a bit sensitive with this. It... Not a 2018. That, that's a just recently, but there again, these two last years have been very. Yeah. Let's see. There again, Let's put sensitivity down some. Actually, ever since 2019, things felt like it was going downhill. Yeah. <laughs> and. 2018 feels like a decade ago. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of funny. Many people said 2019 is finally gone. May the next year be great, and people are having so much high hopes. Yeah, and then gone. all of that. Yeah, it, it just, the, the year just decided, nope, and slap you with a uh, brick. Across the face. Nope. Okay, yeah. Similar to uh, Orcs Must Die, you can fight as well with all in this game. So uh, primarily, you want, you'd want most of the work to be done oh, by uh, your turrets or and your maze like there. So that's a pretty bad maze if you ask me, because they're going uh, yeah, they're going to have to break through at some point, which means they'll start attacking the walls. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh, at least he's getting his cardio in. <laughs> Those are some weird bugs. 
and they are just in the corner crying. Okay. Okay, but as far as I know, basically this world is getting invaded by bugs from somewhere. I forget where. Control to aim. Okay. And I accidentally found the alt fire. Oh, God. Did that thing jump at me or did it just die like that? I think it tried to jump you, but you basically killed it mid-air. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the build mode. And yeah, I scroll to select the tower. We can aim at the ground and press and hold to build a tower. It seems to want us to put one down here. So I think that'll completely seal everything off, which means that they'll start attacking the walls somewhere. Oh, no, actually, it, there's an opening there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it shows how far something can shoot in the... Also, it shows... Uh, okay, enter to start a new wave. It shows the cost next to the... On the build part, in the upper right is where we have our currency, which... Well, we don't have enough of, and we also have, I think, that second thing means how many uh, pots we can put down. But, yeah. It's lower conscripts. Okay, that's quite a bit of, quite a bit of back, yeah, recoil on that thing. And okay, weapons read spirit. Weapons refill. Oh, okay. Weapons refill on their own even when not equipped. That that is a, a nice thing. It makes sense with futuristic fire well, energy weapons. Okay. Let's put down something there to make them go a little bit longer because that's the whole point with tower defense games. Make them waste their time and spend more time close to your turrets and such. And even, okay, there's even a mini-map on the upper left that shows how they will go. Alright. You don't have enough to put down anything more, so... Let's see. Okay, it shows what is coming as well. That, that's also really useful in games like this, where it at least... Where it'll well, warn you ahead of time of what is coming. Because often in these types of games you don't know what's coming and you have to basically trial and error your way through stuff. Okay. Oh, can you hide? Data didn't do much. <laughs> Walker pop. Okay. Something attacked me. How can I do this long? Or, oh, they look more like they've been bio engineered than naturally evolved. Maybe we'd have to figure out what the hell is going on with all of this. Let's see, let's make. Sell the lightning tower in the corner, press and hold the right mouse button to sell. Okay, that's that thing there. There we go. Easy to do from a range. Now we have a bunch of points to actually use. And seven... Uh, yeah, seven parts to put down. So let's start wasting their time here. This is a bit short to go back and forth with it. We're in a zigzag. Mm, maybe we could technically sell all of this to make it a bit longer, but it's the first mission only and it's on the last wave. So let's go. And yeah, that is the thing we need to defend, the core. Take it. Okay, he said they actively go after me as well. And the guns can reach over, it seems, which is good. 
though it does seem like they do work for this at least it relies a lot on us actually doing the work job done Okay. See, Dance Dells, the towers, and me. Okay, st still the most on the towers themselves. Let's move on to the next. Let's see, the park. I keep blasting them to pieces, but they're like never ending. What's with all this earthquake business? Let's keep going at it, sis. We'll make take care of this mess. Yeah, there's different characters you can play as. Next guy, Autumn here with the assault rifle. Can double jump. Deals more damage for each hit on the enemy. Sweet Autumn with a sweet, <laughs> sweet cannon. A weapon called the Rex. Shot set fi targets on fire. Great air control. Okay, yes. Yeah, as, as always with these types of games, there will be aerial damage. The aerial uh, enemies eventually. Simo Sniper Rifle deals more weak spot damage for each weak spot hit depending on damage done. That's better accuracy. Okay, pretty cool looking bot. Hagen Hawkins with a shotgun deals more damage when close to enemies. And more health. Okay, so they're a skirmisher. And Saigon Ballis <laughs> Ballista. The last shot in a mag deals massive damage, moves faster. Okay. okay. Uh, any of these you want to see tried out? Sweet autumn, it just sounds a bit uh, too comical to not try. <laughs> Let's see. Fires high. <laughs> it's a freaking relate. It's a freaking rocket launcher that goes into it, turns into a suitcase. <laughs> uh, we get our. Yeah, I think weapon. we found the perfect one for you. <laughs> Battle rifle, high velocity explosive, or the voltaic hand cannon. Okay. We can like select the towers, cannon, Gatling, good against so great, good against soakers and weak enemies. Uh, lightning tower shots bounce if upgraded, good against heavy enemies. We can also upgrade our stuff with this later on. AR Mine Dispenser gives you AR class yeah, mines to place on the battlefield, good all around tower. And the ACP deals does damage in an area around itself, only hits ground units, good against crowds. Hmm. Let, let's try that thing, but the, the perk one in every three hits deals 100% as bonus, so double damage on the third hit. Adds a lightning bounce to your shot that deals 50. Okay, use the core for 10% after. Okay, for each uh, wave. Deals 2000 damage to enemy, enemy hitting the core. Increase weak spot damage. Increase weapon damage. Disables weak spot hits. Okay, that's a bit of a double edged. Let's go for this one then. Uh, oh, we can change around skins a bit. And let's go then. Okay. I'm up. No. We can also see our resources at the well up at the middle of the screen. First off, let's block that off. And we already have two things pre-installed here. So let's make sure it gets some use. Some cannon fodder over you. there. I'm surprised mm -hmm. I've not heard of this game, but again. No, again, we are in at the age, but there are so many games where it's impossible to keep track of them all. Yeah. Let's see. Let's rem Actually, we don't need to remove them. We just build on top of it. Then do a bit more. This I like. It, it connects diagonally. A lot of games nice. won't let you do that. Okay, and these things don't actually cost anything to put this down. That is nice as well. Mm, there we go. That's the longest route that we can send them on at the moment. So we we can put down a Gatling Tower somewhere. Uh, let's replace that with that. Because I presume, like most Gatling guns, the longer it's firing on the target, the longer tower, or the more damage it will there. do. Yeah, then it helps the family game. In some situations, you probably want it furthest away, whereas most have to shoot something running at it. 
We said it would mean it would show the target and everything near the target. Okay, it actually has shorter range than the normal cannon, so where it is, it won't get to fire that much on things. Hmm. So it's okay. better at a corner? Yeah, but then we'll have to remove Hello this there. thing. Was that Microsoft Sam? Okay. What? That's a design. <laughs> it's like a bunch of bookcases stacked on top of each other. Oh, I recognize this. Oh, I think that is the actual design they plan to try. Or all are trying. Uh, okay, apparently we got uh, a random player jumping in. Okay, let's go. Oh, I, I wanted to look for... <laughs> wanted to look for chat, not start around, but okay. Fuck, this thing is big. Well, we know about you love explosions. We <sighs> have some kickback, of course. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Yeah, that thing is probably better against crowds. I expect to try to get more AOE in that match. 10 12. Who's the best? Sweet's the best. I whipped the right piece. You Okay, this might work. I whipped it. Can I speak now, NBC? Yeah. I was saying, weapon like that usually have high damage and high AOE. But usually, of course, slow fire on rate and low ammo. Let's try this to slow things down a bit. Hmm. Could probably move this forwards a bit. Let's see, that would make there. Uh, yeah, that would. Well, we have to start from that side then. Uh, yeah, let's try that. So normal there, normal there, cannon here, and remove that. Put these down here. And um, yeah, this leaves this mostly open. Let's put a Gatling here. It'll have the most time to fire on something. And okay, the one there as well. Work. Mm. Let's just put a bunch of these here. Not enough tower bases. Oh, oh, no, no, okay, no more power bases. Uh, yeah, then we put another one of these here. And that's about all we can really afford. We, let's remove that. Place it like that. And we can put a cannon here. Okay, that's some heavy artillery waiting right at the front. Oh, dear. Like, that's like Gatling gun. Okay, now this is fine, Link then. Yeah, that's the spitter of the, of the species. Okay, and it's not that massively damaging that it just automatically instant kills whatever it hits. Are they sending all of their resources to us for some reason? Hmm. Let's see. Let's remove that. Put it there. And 
Put another thing there. Mm. Oh, we're we're on a time limit for play, putting all of this down. Okay. What do these do again? Uh, let's find out. Tower here, tower there. Next. And okay, we can't build during the combat phase. Is that thing doing anything? If it is, I'm not seeing it. Come on. And I might have put everything a bit too, a, a bit too, yeah, too close together. Uh, did I just... Oh. Okay, you can accidentally crush yourself, it seems. Uh, actually, let's put that there. Interesting, and also, what do you think of the voice acting? Hmm... Not uh, too much at the moment. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Yeah. But some ways just will be fine, but also I have a few okay, of this. Might work. Okay, and we have a, a limited amount of turrets that we can put down. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, some lines feel a bit odd. Okay. What is going on? Yeah, I think I might need to remove some of these. This should hurt a bit. I did say they, they're do, that they do better against enemies called Soakers. I did not see you do anything, so I'm removing you. I can actually remove that bit. So we have an extra uh, turret to put down. Um, it's like, like you made yourself a little own bunker. Oh well. I keep doing that. Yeah, try not to tower kill here, yourself that there. way, please. Just don't. Okay. All set. And there we go. A, a warrior. And... Oh, wait. I think it's going after. It's going after the other player. And I, I should have sold all of those. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not the best setup. Okay, so it it did jump at me earlier. It's a bunch of these warriors. Okay, the eye is their obvious weak point. The guys distracting. We're clear. Yeah. Ha! I got it. Place this quickly. Tower here, tower there. Yeah, the okay, the Gatlings are probably work. a lot more specialized. 
Okay. This is kind of disappointing for... Yeah, you expect Gatling Gun to... Yeah, do a lot of damage. Okay, I can't even see that line without sounding like a minion. And I blame Black Space. Okay, this might work. I just realized I'm standing and behind my mic. And three by pressing left click on it for a while. Wait, what? I think that I think they were using the text to speech or something. Oh, those I think those are the soakers. Okay. So let's replace a few of these. I'm kind of unsure of the Gatlagon's design. Oh, so I realize the circle is probably its entire ammo mag, but still. Okay, apparently uh, the in-game chat has... Uh, the, the, apparently the in-game chat has a <laughs> automatic text-to-speech. And uh, uh, I, I'd forgotten a bit about the upgrade system. Go, we can invest currency into these. We go. It, luckily, it shows how much it takes, and that was a big damage boost. Uh, okay, I, I missed that they somehow drop in an extra or, or a different cannon for this. It's <laughs> yeah, just plain drop if it on top. Or at life or on how the game works without spoilers, I... such as me. PHX. Uh, let's see, we have... Uh, we don't have enough for another thing, Friend, so there we go. Yeah, yeah, soakers. We are very obvious weak point, but uh, also a fuck ton of health. Oh, nice. I accidentally hit him with the flash damage. Okay. Might not be the best idea to jump and shoot with a thing, but okay. Go. Yeah, this is what the, the Gatlings are for. Experience on the sides. Uh, oh, now we're on time limit again, since it's the last round. Uh, uh, lengthen this course. Yeah, we okay. have yeah. soakers and big boys. Yeah, this way is for a, a good idea to switch game for already fucking in the top. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Okay, there was something about a disconnect earlier. Uh, yeah, after this round, let's uh, call it then. Uh, upgrade that quickly. Oh, and we're just short. there for a second yeah this is yeah we had a lot of fun with uh Ortmos dying uh but yeah we also had a bit of mixed amount of time that we could actually chat with that as well because yeah. sometimes things can just get very hectic and this is just the, fr the first set of missions in this oh that thing got far That's going to be a problem with many uh, tower defense games. It, they're going to start overwhelming things soon enough. 
And there we go. For the computer. Achievement unlocked. Coffee stains. Awesomeness. Back. We got him. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> he took the most of the damage. Why is there a jump counter? Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have the same charm as Orcs Must Die did, but uh, I'd say this is a, a solid maybe. Uh, sure for me, on my end. I didn't have much feeling for this, but again, it lagged the, the almost the entire time for me watching that game. Okay, on to the next game. Which a lot of people, well, a lot of older people may recognize. Uh, first off, though, I need to share it. And the older guard may recognize the music there. And oh, all tabbing completely went, switched it to windowed mode in a very tiny one of that. Okay, full screen on. And just as. There we go, apply. Welcome to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. <laughs> I only know it thanks to YouTube. on for quite a bit, huh? Hey, I was wondering, what, what are we waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you can't skip it. So that is a minor annoyance. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, <laughs> go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll say this out front. Yeah, this game will likely get streamed sooner or later, even if just to see... <laughs> Even if it's just to listen to all of Vakir's responses to all the madness in these games. Yeah, I have seen the game before a full playthrough, but it was years ago. And I think about... Yeah, it was during just early days or just before Hoffa's Fawns released in Game Wars 2. So, way before Metillion. <laughs> Re-elect Governor Marley. 
When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this is just plain pretty. Oh, yeah. And it is. if I press the F10 key here, ta da! You can switch at any moment between the old and the new graphics. Which a lot of, uh, I, it's, that's something that a lot of these, uh, special editions have started doing, I think. Like, I know the Master Chief collection, I'm not, I'm, I know a decent amount about Halo, but I'm not really a fan, I'd say. Uh, the, the Master Chief collection can, uh, allows that in some of the games as well, I think, or all of them. Halo? You mean Halo, right? Yeah, ha Halo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just stick to this. Uh, just okay. Just a small little detail: the fact that the arrow moves down the symbol to not uh, have it go off stream. Now then, let's see. How do we I, I like this version a bit more. It looks a little bit cleaner. Yeah, the pixel graphics will always have, you know, at least, an historic value. But yeah, that between what looks better, it's a clear case. Yeah, no, I have seen many pixel games that, are, that do look damn gorgeous. But just this one's pixel animation looks a bit rough. Let's see, quick little thing how to play it. Ta -ta. Cursor V or okay, V or control to bring up the verb. Yeah, the screen. Yeah, ta -ta -ta. I or Alt. Okay. Let's see, look at... I don't see anything special about it. Okay. Obviously, this game originally didn't have voice acting. Let's see. Let's take a little look at everything. Hoi there, stranger. New in town? Let's see. My guy, his name's Guybrush Freak... Yeah, my... Yeah, my name is Guybrush Freakwood. I'm new in town. My name's Guybrush Freakwood. I'm new in town. Guy Brush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Amen. <laughs> well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seatgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> I want Wait, what? Trademark? Yeah. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. It's... Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next, but I don't believe a word. Esteban, over there at the other table, might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. Uh, yeah, didn't mean to do that. But give pirates a. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> they rather pro they probably protest against that. Uh, yeah, we have two options on the screen whenever you're pointing at something. The best at is walk to, then with the right mouse button we can talk to. And we we can't talk to this guy, okay. With any of these. Can we talk to... no. We can talk to this guy. Oi. So tell me about Loom, what? Oh, ask me about Loom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Loom was another... 
you know, there was another LucasArts game, I think, called Loom. I'm not really sure if it was LucasArts or not. Hmm. It might be. Tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy <laughs> okay, that confirms storytelling it, I guess. <laughs> from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! Force wall, what's that? <laughs> Mike's hat. Oi. Hi yourself. Oi. <laughs> nice talking to you. Oi. So basically, any uh, Discord contact that, uh, <laughs> yeah, you need a very specific topic to get them to actually start talking about. It. Wait, hold on. He's you. <laughs> Hello. Spiffy. Arf. 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 said as good as certain that this will be just be strange just for the sheer insanity of everything yeah and for people wondering what i mean that that, that part earlier was helium the meditator asking him something cozy and sometimes i give him a little a few questions uh a little bit of stuff he just then answers i <laughs> way too many times and times that i get me a bit worried Okay, so if I ever get a VTuber avatar, I should have it be made after that guy. Well, you could make it as a sailor, but maybe you're not that guy specifically. That could land in trouble. Er, what the heck? Is that a bastard or an elder? <laughs> Is there much difference? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the, the three, three trials. trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. <laughs> right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and the, the treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Hey. Uh, yeah. So if you are drinking grog at the moment, or are grog supposed to be foaming me like ale? No clue. I don't actually know what grog is supposed to be, or unless it's supposed to be 
anything with any amount of alcohol in it. Uh, I think it's rum, water, and something else. It's was invented to avoid uh, drinking bad water since. Yeah, keeping fresh water in a barrel for months will turn it bad. Yeah, and, uh, and alcohol they, is protected somewhat, I assume. Yeah, they, they <laughs> used the. Uh, they made it into grog to protect the water from growing mold and all that. And so you learned something. Yeah, at least that's what I, I've been uh, recalling hearing. That or kind of what these sailors told as uh, an excuse to get drunk on board. Yeah, well, it kind of makes sense. So it's like, yeah, if you're op in open ocean, all is around by salt water, and you run out of fresh water, because they turn bad. Yeah, that's yeah. a problem, ain't it? Yeah, then you're screwed. Tell me yeah. about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> you can bet that a bunch of people who played this game tried without that. <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious point of view. They might be able to drug him or something. Okay, and um, treasure hunting? On treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, I can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I very much doubt that every pirate needs to go through all of this and they're just setting up hoops for him to jump through because they think he's an absolute idiot. Yeah, well, I don't think there were much for recruitment programs for pirates. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe something they shouldn't be drinking that often then. <laughs> Yeah! And I'm pretty sure half that stuff hasn't been invented yet. Yeah, it, I know it has rum, rum in it, yes, though. Pepperoni, dice, and. Yeah. Leave us it's fully your legs. Come back later and tell us how you're doing! Let's see, I'm pretty sure. Can. Are we. Hey! You can't come back here! <laughs> yeah, just get slapped in our faces. Okay, yeah, and that's... We have our objectives. 
now to, well, figure out where the hell everything goes. And he's just spinning around and around and around like a record baby. I, I can talk to these guys. Oh, hello. Glass eye. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Can you tell me the story about this LeChuck guy? LeChuck? He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then things really got ugly. What? Pardon there for a sec. What's so scary about this LeChuck guy? LeChuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. Even more survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, LeChuck. We were wrong. What is the secret of Monkey Island? Only LeChuck knows. He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. <laughs> They're all a bunch of cowards scared of one guy. <laughs> what happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens, but... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. I'm pretty sure there's still people that allow dog boards in the bar. I can agree, they don't mix. It's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Yeah, don't. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Yeah, just jump straight through it all, eh? Captain LeChuck. There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. Oh, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, Which Brad's fast? <laughs> Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'd rather take care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dreamboard hasn't been here for more than an hour and already uh, he's making trouble with the locals. Yeah, no, he ha has a point. Sure, he's an amateur, but an amateur can do a lot of harm. 
Yeah, especially if they're just bumbling around, not knowing what chaos they're causing. Yeah. And the voice so, actor of that other pirate sounded really familiar. Is Bobar? I, I, I'm bl I'm blanking on his name, but I think he's the same uh, voice actor for Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, and also Wacko Warner, I think, from I think Animaniacs. He, I think he appeared in many. We, I think some voice actors we may hear here. All from movies and such, but also from, well, voice acting in general. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of sad. Here's a, a sad thing about voice acting, I feel like. Hmm? Like, there, there's many voice actors that kind of goes unknown. Like, people really recognize them, but not many may know their name. Yeah. Like when the most recognizable thing about you is your voice, or the voices you can do, it can get a bit hard to get recognition beyond that. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, that, that. Okay, look at Archway sends you there all the same. Okay, something to help with this game is that it has a, a hint system like this. You should see if there's something... that. Uh, Check in the Scumbar kitchen for something to feed the piranha, piranha poodles. Okay, yeah, if you if you press the button enough, it, it goes away a bit quick. It'll just point you straight towards where you need to go. Hmm. But that is giving a bit of a... Yeah, you probably should have checked with the dogs before. But yeah, we already know that the chef actually leaves for every now and then. So when he comes out, we could get into the kitchen and just nab something, probably. So let's see about that for a moment. And then probably call it because we're already on the half hour bit. <laughs> of course. Well, yeah, there's a funny little thing about this place being called the Scum Bar with a double M. That's the same engine that the original and other LucasArts games ran on. Seriously? Yep. We can't have the baseball now! Hey! Don't what? go into the kitchen! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if we do it when he's still here, he just calls, tells us off. But uh, yeah, one thing that was fun about the Scum Engine was, or at least with Monkey Island, is that they managed to figure out how to overlay different lay, uh, types of music so that it could would organically... No, actually... Uh, the, I linked a video to you about it yesterday. I'll put that in the... I'll link that in the description as well, because it, it give, tells a lot about the series and this game as well. And just the... Okay. Yeah. The technical little marvels that, uh, that they managed to fit, you know, fit into it. Like, I think they had, uh, they they put in transis they wrote transitional pieces of music for pretty much every, uh, well, from one track to all the any sort of other meat. almost. Meat like substance. Okay. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. It's boiling hot. Okay. I think that bird will peck my hand off. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Can we pick it up? Yes, we can. And oh, we, there's no real reason to do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, one of the things we... Could... I'll probably not try to use the hint system too much when we get to this game eventually. Uh, yeah, then better use it when it's needed. Yeah. Not knowing me, we'll probably be needing it quite a bit from time to time. For now, let's just move along as much as we can in what little time we have. And see what other insanity we can come across. Like uh, Mr. Parrot here. But it's less than a minute. Hmm. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? What is that? Some sort of code? Of course it's a code, you idiot. Never mind. Good night. 
Well, he's up to something. Of oh. all names, Sven. <laughs> Men of low moral fiber, aka pirates. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's all. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably do the special edition of Monkey Island 2 as well. There hasn't been a special edition of the third and fourth games. Uh, Curse of Monkey Island and Escape from Monkey Island. And well, it has been 10 years since the special edition for number two came out. So this is something spring a leak here or something. So I very much doubt that there Hello? will be a... Uh, a special Anybody edition of those here? games. Hello. Is, you know, is Luke just things like could happen to a person him? in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. I'm not like hmm. Not too actually sure if Lucas Arts is still around. I think they were sort of resurrected lately. Uh oh. yeah. If they're being just, resurrected, that's kind of good. Uh, let's leave uh, Guybrush in a very precarious little situation there as we move <laughs> on to the next game. We Well, we'll be starting from the start when we get to streaming this. And this game I've been rather curious of. Oh. oh. Isn't that... I actually didn't know or I'd forgotten that it was part of Curve Digital Games because those people seem to make a bunch of fun stuff or release a bunch of fun stuff. I think they're a publisher, not a developer. Okay, it was not the game for the boss. <laughs> what did you think it was then? Uh, another cleaning game where you, you run around and Clean up murder scenes that many YouTubers played. Yeah, you're thinking of Viscara cleanup detail, I think. I haven't actually played it. I sure. think I have. I think I own it. But yeah, welcome to Serial Cleaner. <laughs> I know little about this game other than that it looks a lot of fun. So let's see, no sweats. Contact one, join the cleaner as he does his thing, mopping up after the mob around the factory in the suburbs. No, we, we have... The heck is that? Okay, yeah. It's very ADD. I think. Yeah. It knows it. it was, I, think, I think that's a very... At least back to that time, the most fanciest exercise clothing you could wear and yeah. yeah it looked stupid let's see an evidence card is left behind when you clean an item or body <laughs> tutorial use cleaner sense to look around the map by holding left trigger or space let's see one body one piece of evidence we have some cops running around yeah this is a stealth game okay how do we Okay, the arrow keys, not the WSD. Uh, it, he said something there, but I missed everything beyond this should be a breeze. Uh, that's... Well, we obviously do not want to get spotted. So let's just wait for him to turn away. Oh, do a baton. Not mine. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's a one-hit KO. Give me. I said. Okay, do uh, you not give me then? One-hit KO. Oh, my people. We still count with two letters A and O. Oh, come on, the cop has. The cop has a donut in his hands. Oh, he, he noticed that evidence has gone missing, okay. As for the body, oh, he almost spotted me there. Okay, do not hold. To, I do not hold, need to hold the button. Okay. Uh, 
and there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is just prompting. A 45 minutes riding home later. Time to start a new collection. This gold watch will do for a start. Now for some R&R. &R. Okay. Nice funky graphics. Bobby dear, I'm making pancakes. Jam or peanut butter? Jam sounds good, Mom. All right, honey bun, they'll be ready in a minute. Hey, uh, yeah, she probably doesn't want to know what's going on. It's the 70s. Okay. Okay, I was wrong with Jam, but... If it was the 80s, there'd probably be a lot more fuzz around. In the literal sense, the fuzzy clothing and stuff. True. And it was Clean. between 80s and 90s, they had weird clothing. What the heck? Yeah, e every era has its weird ass clothing. True. Hey, Cleaner, good work with that last job. We've got another one if you're interested. Sure, I'm interested. Okay, listen, there's been a misunderstanding. We have three stiffs ready for pickup in Sly's Barking Zim. Be sure to take the champ's belts with you too. Keep it as one of those souvenirs you like so much. You got that? Yes. It's our neighborhood, so there shouldn't be many cops around. Get there fast, just in case. Sure, got you covered. Not too sure if uh, having a bunch of evidence from crime scenes <laughs> in your garage is a smart idea. Let's see. Bailed mob hitman still missing. Wife suspects foul play. Oh, we have a gnome. That's a that's a big ass garden gnome. Would that be a garden not wolf? See, cleaner sense to locate hiding spots. Okay, hiding spots in green. Two, three bodies. The belt over there. Oh, and another hiding spot there. Okay, I'm guessing we can just jump in with A. Yep. When hiding, choose where to exit with. Okay, with the arrow keys. So I can. Okay, I need to. Moving it, pressing the button multiple times doesn't automatically eject me. Let's see, how is this guy going to patrol around? He goes to the body, stops halfway, looks to the body. Okay, that's probably going to be our moment to really go for it. Yeah, he's, he's keeping his eyes off it long time. Probably could have gone after it already. Yeah, more than plenty of time. Okay, let's just wait for him to get into position again. There we go. Now we should just be able to rush in, grab it. Wait, I realize. Why is the, the children's jump game near because you? It's a basketball court. So of course, there's going to be kids as well. Just point taken. I would expect it to if it was a school gym, not a public gym. Okay, he's going to stand there and look over this way. Luckily, his windows are up high, so we can't spot us through them. Okay, he's coming down, and then he's going to be going up to the corner again. Yep. Okay, this guy's pattern is a bit more erratic. Let's see, we can follow him, get behind him there. Stay behind him, mostly, or off to the sides. Yeah, he seems to be mostly focusing on the the ring itself. We can follow him till there. Actually, no, we'll have to hide behind the counter or the, the seats because we there won't be space for us to move to hide behind him. Okay. Give me that. Give me you. So we're looking at my other trophies. Okay, here. I hope he doesn't see me here. 
Oop, jump up. <laughs> I was going to say just about not, but just about yes. Oh, and they, everything gets uh, put in randomized places. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that'll keep things a bit interesting. Um, yeah, I can say that's a definitely double-edged sword for sure. You can keep things interesting. But they can also be very annoying. Yeah. Okay. It's one down. And you can go for this one. I like that if you get spotted, it isn't an instant game over. You can still run away. Hmm. Question is, if, if you... If you hide somewhere whilst you're still being seen, they'll probably s slap you out of their hiding spot. Okay, give me. Okay, now we get to put that to the test. Uh, we can drop the body and... Okay, he loses interest. We'll see if there's any scoring system to this. Oh, now he's going to guard the body. Okay, that'll be a bit... No, he's not. He does not care at all. <laughs> Just, uh... Yeah, leave the very obvious, probably very squishy and bloody bag there. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to, uh... have their donut budget cut. Oh, come on! <laughs> go. Permanent knockout. Learn something about the, that uh, thing. That it was, here's the thing, it was true the cops ate donuts a lot because donut shops were open for many hours on end, 24 hours even. Yeah. But now with more different shops being open for so long, the donut is not the number one thing they eat anymore. It's a bit more mixed now. Yeah, and the donut shops, donut, donut shops, not shots. Uh, typically also served coffee, and well, when you're out on the beat... <coughs> Pardon? When you're out on a beat for hours and hours on end, you're going to want coffee as well. And well, yeah. if there's snacks right next to it, might as well. Bobby, the fight is about to start. Turn your volume up, Mom, I'll be right there. And here's the current champ loosening up, having a drink of water. He seems very confident. Been like watching a bout of violence after a hard day's work. <laughs> okay, Summer 92, a new client. The heck were you... I'm going to assume that he threw out the trash and that he didn't just stuff, <laughs> stuff three corpses in there. Yeah, that's a bit smell. Local boxing club changes hands unexpectedly. Okay. Well, there was definitely a <laughs> swinging hands there. Hello, is this the cleaner speaking? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? I hope so, yes. You, you can highly recommend it. If what they say about you is true, this won't be hard. Hard or not, whoever gave you this number may have also told you how I operate. I know, sealed envelope, the whole deal, I was informed. Right, let's get uh, down to nitty gritty. Yes, let's. There's a campsite near a lake just outside the city limits. You'll find two bodies there, plus a gun and a piece of clothing, a hood, that you need to remove. Also, expect a lot of blood. You're equipped for that, right? Sure, all that? Did that all? Yes, if you've got all the info you need, we're done. I'll be in touch. Click. I do gotta say, I, I do have a somewhat of a fondness for these old-style phones with just a big-ass horn on top of it. Even if just for the aesthetics yeah. alone. Yeah, it is a very classic heuristic that's still used as icons today. Though, yeah, those phones were not the greatest to use. I actually hated to use phones like that. <laughs> yeah, my grandmother still had one of those things. Yeah, okay. This is my problem. I could barely hear what anyone said in those phones with my hearing. And I, and I, have, I have a good hearing. Trouble is, it's so distorted and static, I can't make through it all. 
Yeah, and wasn't I the best many... connection. Yeah, and also I had many situations where I almost I actually got angry and hung up. Oh, let's see. I was 12 years old or something, and I answered one day on the phone, and I was, oh, are you the husband of the wife in this house? Yeah. Hey there in the chat, Rom. Oh, hello, Rom. But yeah. Let's see. Oh, is that too late for you over there? No, sorry, Wait, uh, sorry, Drakir. No, oh, Rom, if it's not too late for him there. Yep. Ah. <laughs> Continue on, please. <laughs> sorry for that. I want to say, when you're 12 years old and mistaken through phone to be the husband of your own mom, you're not going to be happy. I've had it plenty of times where I, I get confused for my mother on the freaking phone. <laughs> Don't ask me how. It happened to me once too, and I confused by that as well. Yeah, that, that's a that's a lot of freaking blood. Like, did they kill a bunch of vampires here or something? Wait, wait. Didn't they say a little blood? Yeah. Like, did did freaking Voorhees? Uh, Workhouse here or something. Yeah, I want to say he's is a bloody lie. Yeah, well, bloody heck, I made a pardon. Okay, uh, it's nine. It's nine fifteen a.m. down here, and I've been mistaken for as a woman at times. <laughs> so it's been happened to uh, all three of us. Yeah, though, for me, ever since I was sixteen. When people were to guess my age, they always guess 36 or 46. Ever since I was 16, including bus drivers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had one time to show some ID to prove I was bloody 16, just to not need to pay full price to drive the bus and not need to go be on the bus. Yeah, so technically you could have gotten people uh, alcohol or gotten yourself it. Yeah, uh, but no, I already had a... was given alcohol when I was 17 by my friend's father, the weakest cider can and can, and it was enough to knock me out. Oh, well, it knocked my body out, but not my brain. It did not react to my medication well. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, those it, never mix. Yeah, and I thought it was, from that time I thought I had a good liver, but no, no. Several years later, I moved to the city, they told me, no, that's the, um, your medication's effect on alcohol. Nope, I've got a bit too close there, it seems. Oh, it's kind of funny. They, he gave me it, I drank like one third of the can, then I said weird, then I just... My body shut down, except my brain. I could see and almost talk, but my body shut down, I fell head first, Lad my head on the table in front of a damn space coin aiming at my face. Yeah, that's a good reason to never touch alcohol again. Yeah, they had to carry me yeah, to the, me the, the living room. Yeah, for me, it's more of a case that no matter what, uh, I haven't tried too many alcohols, but no matter what I try, it always seems to, uh, yeah, taste the same. Like, you're not supposed to be able to taste alcohol or something, but I can taste the alcohol and only that, apparently. Okay, that's interesting. I think I heard of that. Oh, achievement the... unlocked. Now you see me. <laughs> the only beer of late I have drinking yet has been alcohol-free beer. And it's all right. I, mean, I only sip it. No. Finding a true alcohol-free beer is hard for... The first one I tried was true alcohol-free, zero alcohol all the way. But every time else I've been trying to find them has been 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Which I... and yeah, as I told you, I am very careful with alcohol, especially now with my medication being uh, tripled since uh, when I was 16. Okay. So, yeah, high dose of medication probably means more reason to avoid alcohol. And I probably should have noticed much earlier, but the the square or the diamond around us, that's the amount of noise we're making. 
And let's see, Roman oh. said, I think you want to clean up the evidence before the cops get here, not while they are there. And I, you know, I just don't drink from the get-go. Can't blame yeah. you. Nope. Same. Actually, the last time I drank Pena was actually a, a, a good, decent alcohol beer that I split with my mother and such. Well, most of it I was using for cooking some reindeer meat. Okay. That way I did get rid of the extreme little alcohol that was to begin with, but I did drink some of it and it was okay. But not like it was probably a week, too weak to do an effect on me. Okay, so you can go... hide in these places and they will just lose sight of you instantly. What the heck? Uh... There we go. But yeah, I'm not really an alcohol drinker to begin with. I'm, yeah. I'm fine with water and some tasty drinks. Yeah, part, do... part parts for me as well is the um, incapacitating amount of it, it or more the influencing. I'd rather not be influenced by well, pretty much anything. Yeah. Do, oh, I do recall, I do love alcohol-free cider. But those are usually good to be in, in, in zero alcohol in. Yeah, I've, I've tried a few things here and there, like the small bottle yeah, of wine that you can buy somewhere. I think I still have a few of those in the fridge, yeah, I'm, yeah in the garage, that I still have to try because uh, I keep forgetting stuff. <laughs> Yep. Sorry for rubbing it my face at once. Uh, not the best uh, night of sleep, Rum. Oh dear. Yeah, I hope you get a better sleep tonight. Mm. Let's see. Bobby dear, have a listen to this. It's interesting stuff. My hot topic today is... Uh, my hot topic today is America, the serial killer capital of the world. Please welcome my guest, a psychologist. Thank you. It's a, it is a burning question and I'm afraid the answer is yes. That's also uh, probably their answer. <laughs> okay, that, that's probably also what uh, a lot of doctors said to people during this time era. Because, uh, yeah, safe sex, not really much of a thing at times. Not the heck. <laughs> I was waiting for the quarter to drop. <laughs> Serial killers seem to be everywhere nowadays. They keep capturing the country's imagination. Interesting, but I gotta go. I've got cards set up at Joe's. I'll be back later. Don't wait up. I'm glad you've got somebody to play with. Good luck with the game. Wait, quarter to drop? Wait, what quarter to drop? <laughs> yeah, STDs and such. Because, uh, oh. yeah, some errors were very... <laughs> Liberal with people fooling around. Okay, now I get what you meant. I was reacting to the text. Well, my man, I'll cut right to the chase. We had a mishap at a friendly office. Just three stiffs, but they went down in a bad way. You might want to take a mop with you. Don't forget to grab the revolver on your way out. I guy had to scram and leave it, left it behind. Gotcha, leave the money in the regular spot. Cool. Now don't worry, you do the job, you get paid, just don't get caught. Like... Okay. Gameplay is a bit uh, simplistic for now. It, it is it is charming, and I do expect it to get... Yeah. I do expect it to get tougher as we go. Let's see. Famous musician dies, age just 27. Hmm. That might be a reference to someone that they aren't outright naming, but I'm not not enough of a music buff to know who might have died in 72. Nope. Okay, just start us right up next to a freaking cop. Wait. So why How the hell are you cleaning? How does he not know this? You're cleaning! Because <laughs> I guess these cops suck more than my vacuum cleaner. Oh, come on, Hillian. It's too easy. <laughs> too easy, too easy. You can do better. In the corner with you. Oh, but clock works too. 
What Drum. the heck was that sound? Huh? Let's see. What Ooh, the heck did you turn to see? Yeah, something about reading her columns there earlier. The ones he just chucked out of the fucking window. Oop. It was... What the heck? And I'm guessing someone uh, vanished into the printer here. Ow. Ow? Yeah, those printers are... Okay, that's the... That's the photo room, the, or the, the dark room, black room, oh. I forget the specific term. For a moment I was thinking, did they actually just paint the entire freaking room <laughs> with blood? I thought you could hurt yourself in real life there at first. <laughs> yeah. They noticed that the body is gone. Guess who's not making the news tomorrow? It's just you motherfucker. Okay, standing on blood does give us a small speed boost. What? Yeah, because it's slippery. Yeah, but... The deadly dead telegraph. Pr problem is... If you walk in blood, you will spread it everywhere. Yeah. The deadly telegraph. Oop. Uh, oops. <laughs> okay, yeah, this game, this game is, I get the feeling it might be short, so we can port this on the weekends, probably. Yeah, possibly. Oh, dear. Hmm? <laughs> yes. All the blood and you vacuum cleaning it? Yep. I just realized, why are you some vacuum cleaner? Oh, wait, is that, is that your vacuum cleaner? It is. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that shouldn't work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure that vacuum cleaner is safe for fluids that wouldn't just end up choking. Uh, weren't invented until uh, at least a decade later or so. Um, the... It's more like it's only been invented recently. Okay, let's hide in here, look for that guy's... Oh, the revolver is over there. Well, it, it would be a good way to probably ruin the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Okay, let me grab this, then I'll answer Rom's chat. Uh, this should be a good hiding spot. Let's see, so why did uh, that guy waste three people in a newspaper uh, office? Now we have to clean it up. <laughs> it's fuck up. Maybe it's one of those steam machines, you know, for cleaning the carpets? That would make sense, somewhat. Yeah, the steam machine would make more sense. No. Hopefully that means they, they, they are also a bit more quieter than a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it's very obviously not. Or it's not quiet, <laughs> at least. Well, here's the thing. If it was a vacuum cleaner, everyone would be running at you now. Yeah. Let's see, we can... Okay, we can grab the body and get it out while he's turned away there. Though the other one might see... Wait, did he come in here earlier? Hmm. Oop. Almost spotted. And almost time up. Yep. Okay, that's all the blood taken care of. We'll finish up this level. That will call it. It should be safe in here for a bit. Uh, yeah, this. this. <laughs> oh, he heard our footsteps. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, a bit early then. But yeah, this, this looks like a lot of fun. Wait. 
Unlock outfits by finding and collecting Eleganza magazines hidden in story contracts. Okay, I did... I, I did think I saw magazines lying here or there. Yeah, I think I saw one on a, on a bench in the gym one. Unlock movie-inspired bonus contracts by finding and collecting film reels hidden in story contracts. Okay. Yeah, I think that we the outfit that was yellow strap on was from a movie. Yeah. And now on to the last game that we'll be trying out today. And which is a replacement for the first one because yeah, I, I was thinking See I had I had uh okay, need this. Share that to look here. I had a different game called Runers lined up, but I, when I tested it out to see if it worked with OBS, I saw that I already had a save in it, so I took a closer look. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a Binding of Isaac like twin uh, yeah, twin stick shooter, and it wasn't actually that entertaining from what I tried. Oh. And yeah. This is Zoom, Speedrunners from Hell. We're not really sure if that's supposed to be an acronym for something. I think but it's yeah. Fun of Doom. Yeah, the the font type is at least yeah. Let's see. There's a campaign. Episode one: Conspiracy of the Ale. Episode two: Nitro. <laughs> Drunk side of the moon. Okay, what is this? Nothing better than a good beer. What the hell? He's the nice gift. I have come for your ear. Hey, that's mine! Ah, son of a! <laughs> Enjoy surprise. Like hell I will. So let me get this straight. We're we're running into hell because Satan is too uh, cheap to go buy his own freaking beer. <laughs> I like the odd side, but the story is come on. Uh, yeah, I decided to go with this one because yeah, we did brutal legends, and uh, yeah, it seems to be going with a similar story you know, of absurdism. Welcome to hell, Marty. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Your name is Marty? Apparently. Yeah, wait, I think I've seen a bit of this game in the past, but I think it was during the early access. Well, I did not recall it comics the only recall it from the here a little bit. <laughs> Okay. But you may have locked Uber time. And that is for. Get the Uber skull time on one level. Okay. Not sure what that means. Uh, Roman chats. Uh, I never knew your vinyl was that sharp. And yes, we are going to kick Satan's ass because he stole our beer. <laughs> Okay, so we can't we can't explore. Uh, that is some sort of okay, okay that's a switch. Yeah. <laughs> uh wait. Okay, I missed the uh, I pressed the wrong thing there. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was pressing level select, that's what. Yeah. Baby. Okay, there's three, three measures. There's, I'm guessing, just getting through, getting through fast, and something else. Maybe something hidden is around. Let's see, trampoline. Fatality. 
<laughs> okay, Sean freaking Con. Oh, those are bass speakers. Okay. Uh, we need to be 1.13 seconds faster for the top score, I'm guessing, with that. And this, this looks like it might be a, a weekend thing as well. Some fall through. Ooh. Okay, too slow. Restart. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's give this at least 15 minutes because it seems like this might be a bit. Uh, okay. Oh, hello, what's this? Gravity. Oh, shit. I can fly. <laughs> okay, gra okay, now things are... I was going to say they're probably going to add more interesting stuff later on, but then it does add one thing. Uh, oh, come on, there's a demon clippy. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is looking like a, a very obvious weekend thing. Well, it depends if it's a kind of story, and not just only speedrunning. Yeah, uh, a joke story at that. Uh, oh, we got... We got the freaking gravity thing here. So we can yeah, just so hover through. It could be... I would get against it if it's only in the beginning and at the end. <laughs> but first, and it gives an achievement. <laughs> of course, for <laughs> for buff first on one level. Ow. <laughs> no, <laughs> going into the exit backwards. <sighs> Let's see, serpent. Burn, baby, burn. Okay. And that oh, I saw it was going to move. Okay. Slam it up, baby. Okay, and Fuck yeah. Okay, not the fast time, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's just see what are this dumb stuff has. Uh plumping? Okay, now we're getting bigger levels. Oop. Ow. Uh, um, Demon Clippy says, fuck you, I'm giving you tips. <laughs> uh, at the very least, I think we can say that the developers of this had fun making it. Yeah. That is quite an easy thing to say. Oh, boss level? Okay, let's give that a look. Let's see. Charge. Okay, now we're getting actual obstacles. Ow. Let's see. A bit generic with the landscape, but it, it it's not it's not meant to be much more than just background dressing. Get the fuck out of my way, fireball. I jump where I want. Okay, I like this guy's attitude. Oop, oh, I was... I was unsure if I was actually timing it right way. there. This is a bot? I'm confused, or... When there's a bot now, I expect that to be a, you know, boss? Let's Down, please. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, we have swingers, prison escape, jumping jacks, bling, make way, peekaboo, quit itch. Can we go straight to that? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, no. 
Oh, come on! Oh, oh, oh! Come on, seriously? Dominated. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, th this is going to be obviously a weekend game at some point. Okay, a bit shorter than the 15 minutes, but yeah, I think this game is just going to be fun. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, if I think we go, if we go much, uh, if we go for much uh, further, we'll see a bit, mu we'll see a good amount of what it has to offer. Then, then again, it does. Let's see, there are elevator. Nine levels of this with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 99 levels likely. Okay. Yeah, that, that'll. This will keep us busy for a while, and. Yeah, I expect that there will be <clears throat> some other mechanics that they throw in, so th this could be fun. It, it'll probably also start busting my balls at some point. Well, uh, yeah. Okay, this is also this. Yeah, this and Serial Cleaner are going on the weekends eventually after we're done with, uh, yeah, Hard Space and anything else we start up on there. Uh, yeah. Your thoughts on anything here? Uh, it's interesting. I just hope we get to see more of the story and not the you see story now at the beginning and you see story at the end. I want to be annoyed by that. It, it does sound a lot like just a, an excuse plot, but I think it fits with... <laughs> obviously, we're not meant to take all of this seriously. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem with that. I just want to see the story, at least. Or at least more jokes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, a bit early. Uh, yeah, if we, if we milk this too much, we'll ruin whatever. Yeah, you know, we'll probably ruin things a bit for when we get to it on the weekends. But for now, thank you when everyone has been watching now or later. And thank you especially, Drake here. You're most welcome, my friend. And thank you as well for watching again, Ram. I uh, hope you have a nice day. And yeah, Tuesday we continue with Dishonored. Uh, until then, until then. It's me, folks. This is the right.